came in today, and the temperature is at 98. And it's been holding at 100. So I'm wondering if the probe moved or something. But uh, this is day one. Day one is the first full day of incubation. So day zero is the day you set the eggs. And then the next day is the day one. So, see in there is a bit of a glare. Do you see the little eggies hanging out in their little thing? Where's that probe? That probe is right there. I'll just shift that probe around, I guess. You can see, I know there's a glare, but you can see the probe. It says it's 98 right there, and that's the level of the eggs. So I'll have to figure out, maybe like tape it better, as it was down in the egg carton itself. So maybe it's just registering lower because it's touching something. But yeah. So I'm not going to open it or touch anything <laughs> unless I need to adjust the temperature. That is the flaw in this, is you have to open it to adjust the temperature because the temperature settings are adjusted on that base in there. And looks like I do need to add water as well. So I might have to open it anyway. Where's the water at? Right there. Water's over here. But we just, this is day one of incubation. Oh yeah! No! So here's the eggies all hanging out. Yeah, you feel a little cold. The temperature around them, though. Yeah, we'll adjust the probe and see. I might need to just turn up the temperature on the base. Like, the temperature that it runs at. Uh, put some water in. I think this is going to be like a twice a day water thing. Because usually when I check it, it's completely dry. I think it's just not used to having to be in this big of a space. So I managed to figure out the water um, adjustment. So we got our water added and everything's just gonna hang out. We'll put the lid back on and adjust the probe. You want the probe to be at like mid yolk level. So right up there would be good. Um, about mid-egg, when they're batch, that uh, placement is going to be egg yolk level, which is going to be the temperature inside the egg. So I'll probably have to just tape the probe into place somehow, some way. But this is what's going on day one. And I'm not going to turn them or touch them or do anything with them today. Um, I'm not going to turn them actually for like the next day, maybe another two days. And then I'll candle them to see how everything is going. Because I don't want to hurt those uh, delicate air cells that are trying to reform. So I'm just going to leave it. That's the recommendation that was given to me by... Uh, some like YouTube videos that I've watched and I think that's what I'll go with. So we'll adjust the probe and I'll get a better temperature reading. So I adjusted the probe a little bit so it wasn't touching anything but the egg and it's registering the proper temp. I don't think it's even really touching the egg. I just put it as close as I could and whoops. <laughs> it's a uh, at 101. So I've been running it at 101 because I'm running it like a still air setup because that fan is pretty small in there. I don't think it's really circulating much around and I think running it still air might be a better choice. This window is pretty dirty. It's just like scuffed. But, uh, you can see I've got the probe right there. Come on. I've got the probe right there. It's a little bit difficult to see. But it's uh, like mid-level on the egg. And uh, that's the temperature it's reading. 
the other eggies are over there. So, uh, I do like the position of this because I can see if I need to check the water. I may run a little tube down just so I can fill the water without opening the incubator. Though soon if I decide to turn it, I'll have to open it anyway. And that can be when I check the water. But everything is tucked in for now. So, thus is the end of the update for day one of incubation.